Looks like we're going to get a life stealer for Fly to Moon. At least he's going to be able to deal with some of this magic damage that OG bring. FTM on the other side. Always want to fly Phoenix with Iceberg, Queen of Pain, and General Clockwork. They're all sitting mid. Watching mid one as he dances around the Disco Pony. Oh, Fisher and Arrow doesn't connect. They do get the Fisher down and a Thunderstrike to follow. Always want to fly. Trying to cut through the trees. Actually, uh, a little misclick there, it feels like, and First Blood spilled. He got caught up in the tree line, couldn't cut through straight away. Ooh, Medvan is in trouble. He's sending the career back. I think it would be much better if he died there. Now he's gonna die anyway, and already used the salve. Yeah. Not an ideal situation. But the six minute rune's coming up, and that's what Sansa's kind of angling towards. Try and defend the action rune there for the Latrak. For the first time, oh, Sonic Wave Iceberg screen. Med. Iceberg just straight up annihilates the Latrak. And I was going to say, like, no one has vision on any of these runes, but a uh, haste rune spotted by the Rubik. Did you notice that mid one almost, like, never upgrades his circlets? This yeah. game, he's, okay, he's going to buy one Nolly. Oh, no. Yeah, like that, that Void Spirit game he had. Oh, Seb. Facing off against Iceberg, and the Sonic Wave takes down the Marana. Iceberg just pops that illusion room to get out of the Thunderstrike, but in comes mid one. Lift up, Aloha Dance buys the space for Iceberg, who's glimpsed back into the Fissure. Great play with a split Earth. Oh, gee. That's the setup we've been looking for. Three heroes converging into Queen of Pain, and she's a big kill. Now, half a level for all three of those heroes as well. It's off of that Queen of Pain kill. In the meantime, Naga now farming jungle. This is what OG is so good at, mid one. Though he's gonna get grabbed again. Telekinesis from Aloha Dance. The pulse will get the though, kill. Clearing him up with the Queen of Pain scream, they do get the trade back. Suffer, fools. I believe mid one is fine with that. They've left him alone top. There's no one here to react if Vitune does get jumped on. They're smoked up. Fisher Static Storm, so he can't rage. Try and chase him down as they snipe his courier. Also, he does get the infest off into a range creep. V-Tune getting caught by mid one, though. Lots of magic damage spilling back into the lifestealer. And there it is. Radiance delayed. Even though Arrow missed, they still managed to grab a kill. Like, lifestealer is very hard to actually grab a kill on. But No-Tail with, the, once again, a very nice static storm. TM though finding mid one here potentially with a supernova damage over time from the shadow strike and they also hook shot the earth shaker so supernova lands they protect the egg and a double kill for iceberg they lose their life stealer but immediately react responding with three kills in a row of their own they i'm not gonna say wasted they used everything to get a kill on life stealer which was a correct play iceberg, iceberg. with your cane rune like, he that does. should be a kill. He's trying here. Sonic Wave, but he yules up from himself. That Fisher into Enchant Saxa. Oh, he doesn't have Echo Slam. He's going to try and give chase here, but doesn't get that Aftershock stun. And Iceberg, this Arcane Rune is causing so many issues for him. Alva up again, Queen of Pain back to pretty much full HP, jumping aggressively onto mid one. Dive from Always Wanna Fly and General hook shot in five seconds. TP from Seb, Marana coming into play, Saxa with Yule another great pitch here. Mid one trying to get the split up. Yule's up, he's baited it. Now they catch the Queen of Pain, but she's still gonna be able to take out mid one with the help of Always Wanna Fly. My god, mid one's still alive! Phase Bolt does clear him up. Seb gets arrowed by the Rubik. In comes No Tail, and it is a massive brawl in this bottom lane, somehow around a tier one with no creep wave. Everyone diving in looking for additional kills and Clockwork, dragged back into the Static Storm. A stun from the arrow comes through at the last second to cancel that TP. In which it was, you know, quite even. Slightly favored and immediately smoking up with that Lifestealer Radiance. Send some illusions top and blink in. Iceberg jumping mid one. They get a good fissure and kinetic field, but Vtune focusing Saxa rips the Earth Shaker limb from limb as the Leshrac, deep in between five Radiant heroes, also slain. Naga Siren with Manta style like she does not want to fight when you get the Manta style it means okay We just want to you know hit some extra creeps until I get the next item But Lifestealer is ready right here right now and they've caught Sumail 
arrow, not going to connect with the hero, and Sumail just going to Song and TP, as Seb has found a pickoff in the back lines, taking down always want to fly. Now telekinesis up into the Queen of Pain's damage, General looking for the hookshot, lining it up. Who is he going to go for? No tail. Seb, do you need to hookshot Seb here? He's waiting for the leap, so he can maybe jump with the oh, arrow. Nice Perfect. arrow. Iceberg now able to jump in, blink aggressively, but no tail's ready with the static storm and Sumail with mid one. The damage spilling out. Queen of Pain self fuels with a wand and a blink gets out of danger. Turns with a sonic wave. Mid one being cleared up. Has to self fuels, but he's only got 84 HP. One hit well, from a low hand answer. Oh, shot connected to Sumail. Revenge. General catches Sumail. Takes down the Naga Siren and OG bleeding out the aggression from FTM. Coming into play so swiftly. Especially against the general clockwork with blade mail. He is just hook shotting in. You know, mentioned it in the draft. General Clockwork, very good at picking out these targets, and if he gets on top of the Lash Rank, there really is no way to stand and fight, as No Tail walks up high ground. v Tune says, thank you very much, I'll take this one. General actually sniped it with a rocket flare there, but they've also got the Ensnare, and the hook shot onto three with a supernova in the cogs they go. Three men OG hog. trapped inside with a team fight combo for FTM, beautifully executed. Seb does manage to leap out of danger, but my goodness. OG losing hero after hero as this aggression from FTM just never stops. If there was ever a turning point in this game, it was right there. Lifestealer surviving such a massive morale booster now for FTM. All of their teamfight ultis back up again. Supernova in 20 seconds is not too long as they catch Seb. Telekinesis with a stolen splitter. They've got a hook shot to take down the Marana. She's got one leap, gets a little bit of distance. Oh my god, no! They don't get the kill. Rocket. Rocket flare. Absolutely right, Lacoste. You called it. General snipes it. Stolen arrow now from Aloha Dance. Also, a massive threat. The 8k down. Kill deficit as well. Naga Siren getting spotted out. And a hook shot from General. Catching Sumail very quickly, dispatching with the Naga Siren. This could be an opening for Roshan. They're going to telekinesis up the Mirana middle. Has a couple of leaps here. Dual Scepter up and another arrow. There we go. Chain stunned into oblivion and a double kill for Iceberg. If he gets Philosopher's Stone somehow, then it's a turning point. But Naga Siren. Like, you don't really feel the influence of the hero at the moment. Zero, four, and one. Progression stalled pretty significantly for that Marana. It's like Lashrak not going to go BKB Lacoste. Still went in for the boost of travel, finished off Kaya. Bloodstone queued up. Bloodstone oh, is an cool. option. A little Rubik there. Saxa with the Echo Slam, so expending a teamfight ulti for a pickoff on Aloha Dance. This really feels like they need to get more out of it. Hook shot off the mark from General. Berg still looking to scout any heroes out. TP'd away, but Sumail is still kind of stuck here. Pops his illusions. Queen of Pain coming in. Song. Animation cancelled because Iceberg is BKB'd up. He's going to throw the Sonic Wave here to finish off Sumail. That was a, such a great play from Iceberg. He understands that there is Song, so in, he instantly pops the BKB. Gets the kill on Sumail. So Sumail is playing, they're grabbing the kills. He's cutting the way he's trying to buy some time so that Fly the Moon doesn't knock on their tier 2, tier 3 towers. Yeah, trying to keep them on that opposite side of the map. Aegis. Two and a half minutes on it. Saxa found by both FTM supports though. Dragged into the claws of Vichu. Very happily takes up his mega kill streak. Off the basher with the money as well as top lane. Static Storm did come out, but the Yules cancels the TP of Lashrak. And Iceberg yet again helping out his team by aggressively playing with General. Finding a core kill once more. Iceberg. Very interesting talent choice. Level 20, not going for AoE Shadow Strike, instead goes for Spell Lifesteal. Once again, he's on top of Samael. 
And that arrow connecting with the BKB of Queen of Pain. Iceberg just blinks aggressively forward. So Mail dropping. They're trying to chase down Seb. The Earthshaker cancels his TP. So Sanks are not getting involved. One leap, 15 one charges, attempt the TP, but the Yule Scepter. Scepter to cancel it out. And Iceberg's ready here with Aloha Dance to chain stun down the Marana. And another great successful chaining of kills as FTM find them every pickoff they need. V Tune still pushing bottom lane. And they've got all the time in the world. FTM grab up the outpost. Even more neutral items popping up. OG smoking towards top lane. Iceberg is alone here. Goes back for the neutral item and that could be a problem. The kinetic field fissure don't land. The blink away from the Queen of Pain. Perfect. TP from General coming to the outpost. He completes it. He wants to stick around and fight here because he's got V-Tune arriving. Hookshot connecting with mid one. Trapped now inside the cogs. Limps back from no tail with the self fuels. Lashrak tries to get out of the cogs. Queen of Pain can still give chase though. Aggressive blink yet again with a shadow strike as V-Tune has shredded no tail who tried to give his life to save mid one but it looks like he's going to die regardless. The godlike Queen of Pain easily takes him down and V-Tune's going to die fountain. Don't dive the fountain right now like you can just just take it very slow. Another Sonic Wave will be ready in uh, 15 seconds. And they've used up Saxa. No Blink Echo Slam for you. Rage through the Fisher and the Arrow. Does connect onto Iceberg. But OG with three heroes down. Naga Siren still pushing bottom lane. It's One a lane free of set of Raxes. Yep, they can't defend it. It's a Static Storm without Aghanim Scepter. It's not gonna do that much. Structures um, Blockwork is still holding onto the clumsy net, opting to not take up, you know, the Van Brace, for example. So it seems like he wants that additional bit of lockdown to try and catch them out. It's the Moonlight Shadow, but the jump in immediately for FTM, finding the Naga Siren, and Sumail has been obliterated. FTM so quick off their mark, they see a target, they take him down, and 60 seconds without your Sumail Naga now. Light a moon. Maybe they just want to. Try to poke, see if Sumail has buyback. He just heavily committed, getting that heart. They don't know if he has it or not. It's very hard to judge how much gold Nagasaren can farm. Gem on general. I already used that one, but we can call him Gemeral right now. Uh, it's I still find it funny. Iceberg gets another one. Saxa does have buyback. Echo Slam still level one though. Five heroes from FTM up onto this tier three. Very swiftly destroying the structures of OG. Static Storm does catch out the Lifestealer, but he bashes mid one and Life Strike's dead for a minute. The arrow's there. The Echo Slam does the very much. v Tune just stands his ground and battles through everything OG has. Down goes No Tail to Iceboat's Queen of Pain. One more scream will do the trick. And General, he's got the Lifestealer infested inside of him. Arrow there for the Blade Mail to try and turn back some of this damage. What's the Lifestealer like? Yeah, full HP. He's going to pop out. Arrow. Ooh, sidestep. Oh, but no! Marana. Catches Seb. Sumail opens up his his teammate to get in, taken down as V2 and Rages and GG's called the first loss here for OG in the group stage up against FTM. Surprise! I've been really impressed by the V2 and the way he plays. Maybe not that game on Phantom Lancer where, where he missed um, bought the items. Slark. Don't go with the Slark. Even up against Earthshaker and Invoker. I still feel OG's not gonna go for aggressor trial lane against the Undying. Same ward once again on the bottom lane coming out from Saxa. Looking for that Fisher lineup on Always Wanna Fly. Nice placement. Locks him off from the staircase. And OG, here's the four heroes that came down to the bottom bounty runes. He gets a two man decay. Always Wanna Fly still gonna fall as the clicks. From OG, too powerful to handle, but General with a battery assault. Now, FTM bring numbers. All but Venom from v -Tune, slowing down some mail. They also focus down Seb with that Shadow Strike, doing good damage. v -Tune's gonna die. Fires up and he's gonna survive. v -Tune's about to fall on some mail. He is still alive. Turning now onto Iceberg, who doesn't have Blink. He's got Shadow Strike. Uh, and OG just punching down FTM one by one. The dominoes topple. And OG, OG with a three kill lead as the creeps spawn. Saxa's rotation has forced Aloha Dance to come in here, so we've got a, a 2v2 lane mid lane, pretty much. General taking a bit of a beating bottom. The, these off laners 
Now we're having a few struggles as Seb loses his courier, body blocked by Always Wanna Fly, and that all but Venom from Vtune, slowing him down enough for a kill. You wanted that to be a dick. It's a tough lane. Because you know, apparently male nipples are fine to show, but female nipples aren't. Double lightning zap, killing out that mid wave. No tail rotating in to do some more good damage onto the tier one with Sumail joining in. They bring the Centaur with a Helm of the Dominator, but okay, I, I missed that. Top lane, Seb dies once more. Tower mid, more important though, you, re you reckon, Lacoste? Yeah, OG is very good at pushing the towers, but here comes Tombstone. It's only level one. Might be enough to buy some time. Do you defend? I love that out of mana. No one has mana on there. Except General, who hook shots onto two heroes. Samael now trapped in the cogs. He's got nine one charges, but the Sonic Wave demolishes him as FTM. Five heroes strong in that mid lane. Defend their tower, get two big kills. Even without mana on half their heroes, they get the jump. These off laners have been struggling a fair amount. As Seb returns top to try and finish off that Necro book. What's Iceberg doing? He's got TP in two seconds, Blink in two seconds. Does get clipped by the EMP, Blink TP down to the low ground, but the Fisher from Saxa is gonna find him thanks to No Tail scouting down into that low he ground. Himself or Saxa block. Gear, gear, Blink. And where can you go? Nope. Cannot get away. Iceberg way too deep, but Seb up top lane, bound by the Slark and the Clockwork again. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh. Sitting where his tier one used to be, kind of bodyguarding the Queen of Pain, walking into that EMP, does trap two inside the cogs, but a good Fisher from Saxa holds the clock back as a tornado from mid one. Clipping General, getting the kill as Iceberg, Sonic Wave is ready in a second, but he doesn't feel like he's got enough damage just on his lonesome in those two kills. Playing against these like five man ball up lineups is, is difficult, right? You can't just pick off a target. Very good at that. Have the fusel blade. Okay, mid lane, Aloha Dance just got level 6. It does burn a lot of mid one's mana as the hook shot out of the nice with hook a shot. Sonic Wave as well. They pop the Eclipse and turn to fight General. The clockwork will fall as No Tail is the trade back. Oh, Saxa was looking to walk in there with the Echo Slam, but he's going to try and block off the Slark with the Fisher. OG regroup after losing their chan. It was a great Here, initiation Fisher, Fisher. from FTM. <laughs> Here, little Fisher. That, that looked perfect from FTM. And the Echo Slam with a cold snap, holding Queen of Pain in place. Iceberg again, That's just out in the open, buys back now. He wants to continue this fight. They know that OG are out of mana. They jump in for the Queen of Pain, but still no kills to claim. The Luna Force stabbed away, but doesn't get to the high ground. Now taken down is the Enchant Totem from Saxa. They need Delayed. to get more out of this. They add Vats of FTM, they get the TP out with the rest of OG. But I think Sax is dead here. Mid one. Uh, mid, 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 mid one. Ghost walk There's into dust. dust. He's very speedy. 360. V2 Three seconds. Gonna jump hook in shot. Two seconds. Yeah, they've got a jump from Iceberg. They've got a hook shot here if they need it. Looks like the Pounce Leash will take down mid one. Not Queen sure of why Pain. Stuck around. Ooh, really struggling. She bought back there, didn't get a single kill from it. Level 1 Tombstone at the moment. Four hits taken down, pretty easy. Always on a fly, sneaks two bounty runes as Seb is found by Vtune. Quick little loosened beam there and the hook shot catching the Hawk. Still with the battery assault onto Seb though, General giving chase. Hawk shot. <laughs> the Hawk shot, coming from downtown. Seb is going to turn and fight though, they clear up the tombstone and now OG, they are ready to fight. Yet again, grouping around the clockwork, the initiations come to nothing for FTM. Block wasn't able to stick on a target and Queen of Pain is miles away. I mean, if you think about blade mail, it's a very cost efficient item. It gives you everything like armor, intelligence, 28 damage. So... We'll see how it pans out as bottom lane, Saxa, getting chased and Sonic waved. Iceberg does get the grab as General picked off by some mail in the top lane. Near that top rune spot at the very least as Aloha Dance. EMP on top of his head. Mid one getting another urn charge up. FTM just don't seem able to, to group up in this game. It's OG always with a numbers advantage.
General Hasted gets away from Seb, who was trying to cut across into that jungle to find him. OG here with a roar. Start things off onto Iceberg's Queen of Pain. They do have the Blink and Champ Totem and an Echo Slam onto the two heroes there. Queen of Pain dies because Rubik and Undying got a little bit too close. Saxa does lose his life in the exchange. But FTM trying to give chase still. No tail. Surrounding General with all sorts of little creepies. Hellbear and Sata slowing him down on his way out. These initiations get much more difficult for FTM now to actually catch someone, stick on that target and bring them down. Especially when Chen has Mech and Hand of God, but no mana to use them right now. As always want to fly, Cold Snapped. Being found by mid one. Does get a hook shot at General committing onto the Invoker, but the backup of Saxa, Seb, and the rest of OG arriving on the scene now as General. They do lift up mid one, but the full snap away. The heal comes out from Chen, the Deafening Blast back, and the Undying about to fall. Loosen Beam will finish him off the Stolen Fisher, making a nice little V-shape there up on the high ground. But Queen of Pain has blinked in aggressively again, and Cold Snap into Raw means she will not be walking out of that one. It's a yikes for me, my, my man, my hello cast. I mean, you know, Blade Mail is kind of in there for me with like Midas and Blink. You buy this item because you want to do something with it immediately, right? Mech, Hand of God, Queen of Pain uses her full combo. They're not going to even feel it. And it's also very good against Clockwork. Having all these summons, so battery damage will be shared between summons and the heroes. Large Blade Mail, use it. Well, he's gonna hold it, pounces into the cogs, but the full staff out gets Saxa away from danger, and the Echo Slam catches both of them. Slark and Clockwork, they try to turn around onto this mid-one invoker. He Shadow Dabs and TPs, they haven't chat totem, they do. V-Tune, did he even use Blade Mail? Did Gossip? not, it's uh, off cooldown. What's the point then? Sumail is also 1v2ing, by the way. Always want to fly an iceberg. They've got Sonic Wave, surely they go in for this kill. He's got the mana for it. Iceberg? He's afraid? He blinks away! So Mandel didn't have Aegis, of course. So they turn around onto Aloha Dance and find the Rubik instead. Now this game is just falling apart for Fly the Moon. You don't fight here. Your tier 3 tower is gone against Luna. You don't take a fight. Way too many Drop bounces. Tombstone. Zombies are chasing. Clockwork from the right hand side looking for that hookshot initiation. Queen of Pain also looking for this lineup of the Sonic he Wave. Sold to Blade EKB. They jump in onto Seb. There's the Eclipse though. Oh, it's gonna fly, it's gonna fall. As Sumail with a double kill. Now Slark focusing onto the Beastmaster, but he can't get a single bloody kill. Chen blocks the pounce so Seb can escape. And now OG, they can turn and face up against FTM with the buybacks flowing through. The Radiant trying to extend this fight, but Saxon with a great Fisher catching up the Slark, and GG is called. Game two, 24 minutes, OG playing a very swift, decisive, aggressive lineup, and Queen of Pain self fuels in the middle of five heroes as the game ends, and a victory for OG. I don't know if you noticed, Gary, but Slark sold Blade Mail and bought a BKB for that fight. Oh man, usually it is the other way around. You pick Bloodseeker against the Morph and you just snowball. Like Morphling's the hero that's always sitting at 20-30% HP. Always on a fly. Boots here for <laughs> is he gonna die again? Disruption, like yep. Here. Disruption into blood right. They got the Breathe Fire. Dual Breath. Not Breathe Fire. Mid ones. Just gonna walk this one down and get the first blood. Very difficult for this top lane now for FTM. Oh, mid one. Trying to face top off against lane. Iceberg with a fairy fire. Top lane, they're trying to kill off the Undying. Mid one's about mid to fall. Lane. Mid lane. Iceberg, he does get the kill. Barely survives and swaps the salve in now so he can heal. While top lane, always want to fly, survives behind the tier one. Bothered. I'll let the Undying die. We've got creep waves to kill. This build on Queen of Pain where you get a point in Shadow Strike and two points in Scream of Pain to secure the, the creeps. Like Dragonite can't really kill you, so there's no point in getting a blink. Maybe looking for that courier snipe, but it's being guarded and held behind the tier one. Lohadance Rubik coming into mid lane. The blink in from Iceberg. Lift him up. 
Sonic Wave is ready for Iceberg as they drop the Tombstone down and clear up mid one. Sumail though arriving with a time lapse, looking for the bash is gonna come, of course it will. Sumail with that rotation, finding the trade bank, and Queen of Pain feels like a much more high priority target than the DK with the Chrono on the Undying. They want the bonus kill. Always want to fly with a DK and a stick is not gonna finish. Uh, not gonna allow him to survive. Oh, very nice item drops for OG. Bloodseeker gets Faded Brooch. He needs mana. He also needs some extra move speed. And Shadow Demon gets Keen Optic. Most of these position four fives actually keep that item well, the for a bit later. Whew. The perfect disruption into Bloodright. He couldn't get it off. Great against Undying, so the heal is not going to be that effective. And it's just a tanky item on him. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Get in and out of team fights so with a nice ice path into blood right shikuchi does come out just in time from general trying to get himself into the trees and hide where's the he weaver? knows they're pinging him out who's blue it's no tail he knows the weaver was probably in the little hole oh, shikuchi away does keep general safe as a time walk out from aloha dance and always want to fly he's been left alone again to die he's got no boots he's got a wind lace but he's not fast enough to run away from seb he drops the tombstone on the high ground Soul rips up, trying to survive. It looks like a low hand with the telekinesis as well. Buy some more time, but always on fly. Burn with the macro fire. And there we go. On dying down with a void or catching no ball. Zoning chrono. A low hand steals it. So male whiffs completely. Yeah, they have very nice zoning abilities. Blood right. And also in this case, chronosphere. It's hard to take a fight. Like, I think the perfect examples is Jakiro as a hero who has two zoning tools, Ice Bat and Macro Pyre. Oh, disruption Green into the Chrono. blood right. They've got the silence on Iceberg. The damage not quite enough unless they get a bash here, but Sumail doesn't catch it. Saxo will fall thanks to that stolen Chrono from the Rubik earlier on in the fight, but General has fallen to mid one. And in comes Sam with another blood right. Nice Ice Path again, setting up beautifully for a kill on Rubik. I want to hear a dad joke, Gary. But they also got one kill in return and they spread on the map, keep farming. They've got this Blink Dragon Tail mid one DK now. Iceberg straight in on top of No Tail. Turn with the Ice Path, catching the Queen of Pain, Macropire there, the Dragon Tail a little slow as mid one, I think he had it on cooldown, but Sumail bashed straight off the bat onto Iceberg. He's gonna need to time walk out of here though, it feels like. As always, when a fly turns the fight, General ruptured up, blood right down from Seb and the Bloodseeker, he's running rampant now. Very speedy little Bloodseeker boy. Telekinesis from Aloha Dance, it does stop them for a second but general is still stuck here he shikuchi back time lapses into the disruption from saxa and what do they got mid one dragon tail not going to come they don't have reveals so the shikuchi from weaver does create a bit of distance for ftm to disengage og were all circling around like sharks looking for the weaver and the only way he could escape was the exact direction he took sharks don't need bugs can he get the courier there's a lot of courier mid lane Chainstun's not there. Iceberg blinks away, but they've got Chrono just to pop onto the Queen of Pain. Time dilation comes out and the Maelstrom striking down and Sumail finds that. Position two from FTM very nicely and Sam gonna go and rupture. Solid rupture. Gonna fly, blood right onto a low head ass, not gonna clip him. Does get a little further out. shikuchi away. General is a slippery little devil. Another dragon tail. Hello, her dance. Finally finds out what it's like. Whew, he's definitely it's not the target to rupture. Dragonite is just gonna stand his ground. He's been doing a great job splitting the attention of OG. MLTP's top of the defend tower, and this might be a chance for FTM to come out of their shell a little bit. Undying, getting destroyed though. OG find the first strike. Iceberg and Vtune, they were just behind the Undying, looking for a proper fight to kick off. But OG, look, look at how tight OG are. They have four heroes, literally just like the human centipede, walking up to the high ground, banish into soul. Yeah, they've got it. Blood right there for the silence. Nice little catch on Weaver, but the Sonic Wave is better from Iceberg. Ice Path comes out from the Rubik as it's stolen and killing off Seb and Saxa. Drag up the DK, but what's the stun remaining now? It's a Dragon Tail from DK onto DK. There's Morphling waveforms forward, and that's going to be the end of mid one. So even if they don't have it, they're still going to take a fight, but Faceless Void's not that hero. Like, you are relying on the Chronosphere to take a fight and then go for objectives. 
Find Rubik behind the tier two. FTM dropped the tombstone and a time walk out saves the Rubik. They've killed some mail straight off the bat with that E-Blade. Focusing Tombstone, mid one's here trapped in the middle of three, and FTM with a double kill on v -tune, they are finding their stride. Four in a row, chasing now onto the final hero. They want the team wipe, but I don't think they're gonna get it. Seb is incredibly speedy. Nothing better than freebie Roche. Be wondering what, uh, what FTM are doing. Jeff Payne and Rubik. Getting into mid lane as this line of dire wards spots out everything. But the Blink Dragon Tail, Ice Path there from Jakiro and Rubik. Coming through and saving Iceberg as he pops his BKB and giving chase now in onto the Bloodseeker. Void jumping forward to try and take down the Tombstone, but the stolen Ice Path and Aegis is gone. Bloodright zones out the rest of FTM. And the Tombstone will finally drop. And what is that now? Like an eight second duration on the silence? She's sticking around mid, but the Dire Scan does catch a glimpse of them. They've jumped onto the Queen of Pain with a Chain Stun from Dragon Tail Ice Path. A bit of heal there and a BKB. Iceberg gets himself out, but a two-man got the shift off. The mail. It's been stolen by Aloha Dance, who pops it down on a two of OG, the DK BKB, and Seb stuck inside. As Sumail TPing out, they finish off mid one with a Sonic Wave, and Seb, they're chasing forward. Bloodseeker TP, cancelled by v -tune. stun him up with the Adaptive Strike, and finish him with that E-Blade. Immediately, lines drawn on the map, and they smoke up. They want more. Outpost being grabbed. OG smokes down south without two heroes. Seb, no tell, mid one. They're going to try and catch Iceberg and Vitu, and they're both stood up together, alone and dead, with their ice path down. Morphling gets blown up. Iceberg's BKB TP will be successful back to Fountain. Fusion's been pretty damn good. As Roshan is a fast spawn, he is up. OG smoke themselves. They know FTM are lurking around in the area somewhere. Smoke popped from the tree line. They jump the morph, but he's got his strength morph off. As the blood right ice path do land on V2, and he's been time that's back to about half HP. Now the turn with a tombstone and a good sonic wave. They kill off the radiant courier as mid one's BKB trying to defeat the tombstone, but the lift onto Sumail is getting blown up before he gets his BKB off. Finally, Satanic healing through it all as they take down Iceberg's Queen of Pain. So close to killing off that faceless void, but always want to fly. Will be the second one to die here as FTM. Losing out in that team fight, Vtune bailed on it so quickly when maybe you think he could have stuck around a little longer. Vtune blinks out, but Undying and Queen of Pain decide to go in. They needed just a tiny bit to finish off that faceless void. Seems like they still want to take this fight. Queen of Pain has buyback. Who's controlling the outpost? It's Radiant. Oh, they've got the stun though, time left back. V-Tune kept alive by General. They jump in and kill off Seb, but the Chrono down and Morphling, the Soul Catcher, annihilating his hey, people. They might have to buy back now. The Queen of Pain did come back into the fight. She has Sonic Wave ready, but she couldn't TP to Outpost. You were absolutely right. There's nothing here for Iceberg to move towards, and they've lost three heroes in a row, buying back on all of them as General slain with no buyback on he him. Oh, and gold for buyback. With a massive team fight victory, V-Tune sprinting forward with a time dilation not... Just about catching on to mid one. Disruption. Blood right. Four five back. Not coming. V tune BKB is chasing mid one with the bashes now. Always want to fly. He's in the midst of it all. Aloha dance does time lapse back. Uh, Sumail focuses down the Undying, who buys back himself. It's but it's back. the Morphling with the Ice Path Macro player. Oh, gee, they catch them both with no tell Jakiro. Sumail, he needs to get on a target. He's being dropped low with a Sonic Wave for like the fourth time this fight. Iceberg, the Aghanim Scepter, paying off dividends. And V tune with a double kill. FTM somehow drag the fight out long enough that OG do not have the buybacks or enough gas left in the tank. Five buybacks, 37 minutes in. So they get cheese, they get ages. Morphling with the ages, of course. Mid one. Pops his dragon form. Beast. Trying to backstab. But FTM have the high ground hold. They have the gem on top of that bait. Dragon Tail onto Rubik. Nice time lapse back. Time dilation. Let's catch out Sumail with a stun there. He's being disabled pretty consistently, but he's going to time walk over to the right hand side. Weaver and Rubik caught in the chrono as V Tune focuses down the, tomb, uh, the mid one DK, who was focusing down the tombstone, but the disruption saves mid one. Sumail and Seb still looking for targets to jump on. Two supports down on FTM as the DK buys back and the 
Queen of Pain has to blink away. Beatune does still they have see her. but now he's been isolated. The Morphling in Faceless Void mode is trapped all alone, tries to go for the Waveform TP that killed off Iceberg now as the Morphling escapes. General Weaver retreating also, but no buybacks available here for FGM. Getting that Morphling out of sure death. 60 cool seconds now. without Queen of Pain. Are they going, going for tier 4s? Tier fours? Yeah. Blood Rage. It's just huge amount of damage. Dragon Form's ready for mid one. They jump some mail. Time walk away. That E-Blade damage and the time lapse back. The v Aegis is gone in a second. Alive. They do lose the Aegis in a second and Tombstone focused down by Sumail. Jumping General now with the time dilation and the Blood Rite. Not quite connecting with it, but they've got the Rupture on him and General down for 100. Vtune, he's got so much on his plate now trying to deal with mid one. The Dapper Strike and the Fatal Bolt. No buyback on DK. So they do get him for two minutes now, but always want to play. Focused by Seb. Sumail still whacking away at the Morph with the Bashes coming through. He blades himself. Trapped inside the Blood Rite, but he waveforms back into the Fountain now. And it looks like the Tier 4s and the Thrones still alive. Oh, they're keeping themselves in this game. And that void with buyback now. 15 gold for Queen of Pain. Shannon 30. Mid one walks high ground into the ob sentry. The Queen of Pain, big jump in. The Scream Sonic Wave nearly blowing up No Tail. They've also caught Saxa, but he blinks out after disruption. So does No Tail. Somehow the two raided supports get out of. They lost for vision. For sure. For sure dying. And in the meanwhile, always want to fly is found by the dragon tail of mid one, TPing to outpost, but he's kind of isolated here. Oh, Vtune doesn't get the kill on no tail. Jakiro blinks away yet again. They stun up always want to fly, focusing the undying as the void. In on with a chrono, the two cores, they caught out the stolen chrono There's for a time lapse. What, what do you use do it on? Absolutely Can... nothing. Where's the Weaver? No time lapse. They have to buy back on the Morphling. Queen of Pain's also fallen. OG with a, a, a straightforward team fight because FTM seemed completely lost. Queen of Pain still saving a buyback. No undying for 40 seconds, and OG in a 5 versus 4. Looking for the second lane of barracks, they do get a good bit of burst onto the Dragon Knight now. Holding his BKB for that waveform forward. B2 jumping Stolen in Chrono. with Chrono from the Rubik. Yes, it catches a number here. of Radiant Heroes, Time but the Morphling can't do damage into it. Time lapse him back. Now focusing with the Queen of Pain self fuels. No BKB for her, she's got to blink away. Turns around, has Sonic Wave to line up, but the Blood Right will zone back FTM. Good luck with that. And now that's uh, Cheese, Aegis, and Aghanim Scepter. Can FTM stop this? Do they, does Iceberg make a ballsy play? They're smoking, they're going to move to the Roche Pit. Yeah, put that magic wand into your backpack. The big it man, is time. HP. Sumail and Seb in the pit. Vtune comes in with a stun onto the Morphling. Dragon Knight stops him in his tracks until the time lapse back gets Vtune out of danger. The tombstone's got the high grounds. They try and blow up Sumail with the Sonic Wave. Back Not track. Damage. He's satanic up. He's healing back up and focusing always on the fly with another time lapse. They send the Undying back to safety, but the two cores are puts him down until the fear. The fear from the Queen of Pain. It's stopping OG from focusing the Undying. Another time lapse. It keeps always on the fly alive a second longer, but FGM have got the big target until the disruption. Saxa saves Sumail. Time Walk back up to the north. Iceberg with another fear. Scream. The but the keeps him in. It's turned with a bash. The Yule Scepter up. On the quap. Mid one. Comes in with a dragon tail but doesn't land it. Iceberg. TP. Blink away. Always focused down and bashed into the ground. OG. Kill the Queen of Pain and General will follow her into the grave. Immediate buybacks come out as Roshan still sat at 4,000 health. I can't believe Faceless Void backtrack Queen of Pain ulti. That would finish him off. He would not have buyback. He decided to go all in with the items. Queen of Pain without buyback for a hundred seconds. Oh yeah, Faceless Void with the Aghanim Scepter. Time walk bashes. So every single time he goes in, you get bashed. There's still a tier two tower on the bottom lane. So they need to go in from the mid lane. Creeps approaching. Or just go for tier four towers. 50 seconds, Queen of Pain undying. Woo. Just disappears. And those time lapses are on dying are really not that good. You know, he's in low HP for a very long time. Tries to get the two man chrono. V Tune will get back to Fountain, but OG so strong right now. Macropire there, no tail, zoning them all out. General time lapses himself, but still falls. No buyback on him, and Sumail with that time walk bash clears up the Rubik. Into the Fountain they go, they are diving across with Aegis and Satanic. It's it. good game, well played. FTM after a well-fought series, very, very close to taking down OG here, but the resilience 
of the OG boys coming out on top in the end. A oh, very nice series to watch. If somehow they managed to kill Faceless Void, who did not have buyback, it could have been a different game.